Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a first impressions, a really weird first impressions. So I recently, by the way, that's water. Well, that's Perrier. I just spilled some on my shirt five seconds ago. So I recently got this product in the mail. It was sent to me for PR. I wasn't planning on doing a video on this, but I just had so many thoughts on this product that I was like, I just, I just, I want to try it out for the first time on camera. This is the new Too Faced Glow Job. That's right. Glow Job Radiance Boosting Glitter Face Mask. I don't know what's up with the world these days. I feel like you're gonna see glitter face masks coming in from so many different brands now because I believe the first people who did it, don't quote me, the first people I saw create a glitter face mask was Glam Glow. They came out with that black glitter mask and there was a ton of videos on it and it did look really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty intrigued by it, but it looked painful. Like for some reason, the thought of putting a face mask that had a bunch of glitter on my face sounded so painful. Like if the little sharp edges of the glitter were going to cut my face, that's just how I felt. Like I was gonna have little tiny scratches all over my face when I took off the mask. And honestly, I was like, what can they come up with now? Like glitter in your face mask. Honestly, I get it. I know that that's mainly for fun and for looks and for uniqueness for something different because we really haven't seen something like that before. So I understand brands wanting to do something out of the box. But honestly, if I'm buying a face mask, I'm buying it for its skincare benefits, for what it's gonna do to my skin. Glitter is not an ingredient I typically look for, I gotta say. So when I got this in the mail, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna freaking try it. I'm gonna try it on camera. Let's see if this does give me a nice glow. And this one is actually really cool. It does look completely different from the Glam Glow one. This one is pink. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna zoom you in, but it's like this clear pink consistency. And it has like a trillion little glitters all throughout it. And it does look very pretty. When I was opening this package yesterday, my friends were at my house. Uh, Melissa and Stephanie were here. And the three of us agreed, this has a scent that reminds me of my childhood. I don't know what it is. And I know I say it all the time. Like, everything reminds me of my childhood. But for real, what does... Oh my gosh. Wait, is it coming to me? Wait, wait, wait. This either smells like an old school lip gloss, so like an old school hair gel. It smells like something we used to use back in the day. It really does. But anyway, nobody cares about that. Just wanted to let you know. So it looks really cool. The consistency reminds me of slime. Like it looks like slime. It says, give yourself a glow job with this revolutionary radiance boosting peel off glitter mask. Infused with real gold. There is real gold in this product, that's crazy. Our illuminating and smoothing mask is supercharged with brightening ingredients for a healthy luminous glow. Dull skin is removed to reveal a fresh complexion and skin is left feeling smoother, softer, and makeup ready. So I'm always in the mood to try out a new radiance mask or, or like a glow boosting mask because you know I have dry skin and I love any type of mask that's really gonna make my skin glow. Some of them are a little gimmicky and I feel like they don't really work, but we're really gonna give this one a nice little test. It does say on the Too Faced website that the exfoliating formula lifts away dull, tired skin. And um, I wonder if the exfoliating formula is the glitter particles. I, I don't think so. And on the website, it just says coming soon, but I went on the Too Faced Instagram and they said that they were gonna restock January 8th, which is when I'm planning on posting this video. So it might be back in stock by the time you're watching this, I don't know if it's worth it, we shall see, but just letting you know in case you were wondering. And before I get started, I just want to mention, did they really need to name this glow job? I mean, all you have to do is change the G to a B and it's a very sexual name, okay? I don't know what's up with these makeup companies giving everything sexual names. It's just a little weird to me. Like if I was a parent and my teenage daughter was like, oh my gosh, mom, can you buy me the glow job? I'd be like, what? And she'd be like, glow job, it's a face mask. And I'd be like, I'm just giving me a heart attack. I thought you said something else. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Am I the only one that feels that way? Or do we like the little sexual play on words? Because I think some of it can be funny, but like naming a blush deep throat, mm, too far. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this video. That was just my two cents. Let me get back on topic. It says you're supposed to have clean, dry skin before use, check. And you need to use a spatula, check. To mix the mask and activate glitter formula. Avoid hairline, eye, and eyebrows, and lips, obviously. Allow masks to set for 30 minutes or until it's completely dry and then you're supposed to peel it off like from the corners and then wipe away any excess product. So let's do this. Okay. Huh. This is completely off topic, but I was just like cleaning my spatula. I mean, I always wash this, but I wanted to give it a nice little like cleaning with a makeup wipe. And I just, oh my God, this smells like feet. 
This smells like feet. I just purchased this Burt's Bees Micellar Cleansing Towelette. Oh, heavens. There is no way I'm putting that on my face. There is no way. Did I get a bad batch? Is my pack expired? Okay, anyway, I cleaned off my spatula a bit. And it says you're supposed to mix it to activate the glitter formula. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Dude, what does this smell like? That is gonna drive me, oh. That is gonna drive me crazy, the fact that this smells like something and I don't know what it is. Am I applying too much? Cause I feel like I have wasted half the jar already. <laughs> like something about Mary. <sighs> okay, so I did apply a lot of this. This is how much I have left. What I don't understand is how this is gonna exfoliate my face. Like, it says it has an exfoliating formula, but I don't know if that's like a chemical exfoliator or what. This looks so pretty, like in the light. <laughs> this is what the mask looks like. I'm not sure if you can really see its full glitter potential. The glitters are holographic. You can't tell on camera, at least I can't tell on my viewfinder, but the glitters are holographic and it looks so freaking cool. So I'm not gonna lie, this definitely speaks to the 12 year old in me. Like if I would have discovered this mask as a young teen, as a preteen, I would have loved it. I would have thought it was so cool. But what matters is the formula and what matters is what it's gonna do to my skin because if it does nothing, then there is no point of just putting freaking glitter all over my face. I'm gonna be leaving this on for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go play with my dogs and wait for 30 minutes and I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm like so winded right now. I was running outside with the dogs. <sighs> ah. Okay, so it has actually been 40 minutes since I put on this face mask. Time got away from me, what can I say? It has gotten really, really tight. I think it's dry even though when I touch certain spots, it's it moves and it feels a little gooey. It still feels like it has completely dried. I'm just gonna start peeling. Oh, see like this part right here. Since I put a lot of product down here, it's not completely dry. I definitely don't think you need to apply too much of this. I don't think it'll dry completely if you do. Okay, okay. See, like these spots here are not completely <laughs> dry. Okay, let's keep going. I think less is more with this product. Ah! Owie! Ow, ow, ow! Ah! <laughs> Don't get it in your hair. Okay, so now that all of that has been removed, I definitely applied too much in certain areas, so it didn't really dry down completely, but let's take a look at this face. So I'm not gonna lie, my face does feel a lot softer than it did before I put on this mask, like a lot softer. So I really love how my skin feels. I also don't feel like it irritated my skin at all, but as for how my skin looks, I think it looks exactly the same. This is probably one of those products I'm gonna have to use two or three times to really see if I like it or not, but I don't really see a difference in how my skin looks. It feels softer, it feels smoother, but I don't think it looks more radiant. I think it looks pretty normal, like how it did before I applied the mask. And this is a $42 mask, so I don't know if it's worth it or not. I don't wanna just throw it out and be like, this sucks. I do wanna give it a fair shot, so I am gonna keep trying it. But based on first impressions, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, it ain't all that. I think it's a little bit gimmicky. And for the price, I think there are other masks on the market that claim to be hydrating and radiance boosting that I actually see a difference with. But just personally for me, I don't know. I don't know if I'm into this. Also, if you get it on your hair, it hurts like a mofo to peel it off. 
But anyway, that was my opinion on the new Too Faced glow job. I don't think it's for me, but I'm sure there are a ton of people who really like this. I really don't feel like it made a difference. But yes, that's just my opinion on this product. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see first impressions on or what products you really want me to review. Leave them in the comments below. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Before anybody screams at me for calling people names, that's from Supernatural, okay? Mm. <clears throat> I'm tripping on finesse. I don't make no sense. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude! Yes.